Hello, welcome back all my fine aviation enthusiast friends. Welcome back to the airplane show. I had a request for this, so what we're going to do is kind of review how to hover uh, in the UH-60 Blackhawk helicopter in Aerofly. Uh, this is recorded on FS-2023, as I cannot play the new FS Global, which I am perfectly fine with, because you can see my reviews that I did earlier uh, in the month on that. So uh, what I did is I took a, a snippet from one of my videos where I did a hover landing. But uh, first, we're going to review uh, the buttons that you need to push in order to get the right display showing. Uh, so you can do a hover landing and then also the button to push to begin the hover landing. So let me show you those first. You're going to want to push this button two times. That's going to adjust the display to what we're going to see now, which is what you need to hover land. When attempting to do a hover land, we need to get those two pink lines met up right in the middle, and then we need to push the hover button, which is right here. The video which you're getting ready to see is going to show you in flight uh, how I operated both of those. One to do uh, hover velocity, which is one type of hovering, and then we're also going to do a hover hold, where we're going to transition that into a hover landing. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please, uh, you know, hit me in the comments if you have any other questions or uh, want to see anything else. Enjoy the video. Let me switch up a couple things. Tilt. Get ready to put it on my belly. There we go. But yeah, you can see as soon as you put it on tilt, you start wobbling. Screw it, you only live once, and this is a simulator. I'm gonna go for the hover landing. I don't care how long it takes me. If this video is four days long, that's how long it's gonna take. Let me at least get close to the ground and see how it is to try to... I've never actually tried to land this like an airplane. Like, usually around a thousand, thousand feet in the air, I'll deactivate the autopilot, fly it in, you know, follow the glide scope, and uh, if there is a glide scope, and fly it in. Here, not so much. All right, so let me, uh, the collective kind of in the middle. Make sure uh, my nose is raised up a bit. Start slowing down. Now you can see the display now on the left. I'll zoom in um, when I'm a little closer to getting this figured out. But um, you can see that, that line moving up horizontally. That so once those two lines meet right in the middle of the helicopter, uh, if you push the hover button, it should say hover position. Right now it says hover velocity because uh, I'm not, well one, it'll do it if you're over two knots, if you're like three knots or higher. Uh, hover velocity will keep your velocity going. Uh, however, you can, uh, so hover velocity will keep your, your helicopter hovering, but it will uh, continue at the same speed. So right now I'm trying to figure out, uh, really figure out how, how to hover land. Uh, let me uh, go a little forward here, get a little bit of speed so I'm not landing in the middle of a field here. And uh, we'll see what happens. I am going to get this, I have hover landed before. Now I got it lined up, but I don't need it lined up right now. I don't need it lined up right now. See how it says hover position? That's because it was right in the middle when you hit the hover button. Hover position, uh, there's no more really forward or back. You can use your uh, rudder uh, to rotate around if you need to, but it, it won't continue forward or backwards. It will uh, keep you there, and then you can use that um, R-Alt uh, knob to, uh, that, that's, um, uh, what does the R stand for? Uh, radar. The radar altitude knob there, and cycle that down until you get, you know, close to the ground, and, uh, then once you touch down, you push the park button, so, all right, I'm gonna get this. I am gonna get this. I gotta switch my display again in a minute. There we go. Yeah, the one bad thing about, uh, using this 
you know, using the tilt of the iPad, it, it makes pushing buttons a little, little more difficult. All right, here we go. So I got both of the pink lines. Let me raise my collective, so I'm trying to stay around 300 feet per second. Nope. Ah, no. That was close. <laughs> I'm sure it wouldn't have crashed the helicopter, but a lot of times when you land on places that are not runways uh, or airports in this game, it'll crash and then put you back at, you know, the, put you back at the beginning of the runway. All right, let's see here. As my passengers are now throwing up from me tilting everywhere. Okay, we're gonna get this right now. I got a good feeling about this. I got the collective right. Now I just need to get the the vertical speed. I need to get that down to about minus 300. So we got to lower the collective a little bit. Maybe raise the nose a little bit. Okay. Oop! Right there because I got it nailed right in the center, boy. All right. Now we're gonna lower the radar. Altimeter down a bit, and let's see. Looks like it's a little broken in the game. It's still going backwards. It shouldn't be uh, going backwards. Well, nice thing about the tilt feature is I can uh, just kind of deactivate it by tilting forward. Can't do that with the little thumb joystick icon on the bottom right when you are doing analog. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna land on this damn airport. I told you I don't care how long this video is. I don't give a fuck. Boy, I just want to land properly. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's slow it down. Let's let's slow it way down. Yep. We right in the middle. Uh, uh, get, get in the middle. Bullseye. Bullseye. All right, let's see here. Yeah, man, we should be, uh, yeah. All right. Wheels unlocked. My touchdown on the ground. Oh, so soft. So soft. Like Charmin. That's what I'm talking about. Now, well, let's turn this puppy off before before it glitches. So, we're going to turn this off now. Let me activate the APU again. If you're still sticking with this video, I certainly do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I, my plan is to put one of these Aerofly videos out once a day or at a minimum once every two days because I'm playing it anyways. So uh, might as well just send a video out to, to YouTube so y'all can check it out. And I can watch it. I like watching these videos too. Like I, like I put in my profile on YouTube, I, I'm making videos that I would like to see on YouTube. But I can't find them. I can't find the videos anywhere. So I'm going to finish shutting this down. And then uh, I'm going to dip on out. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thanks. Have a happy new year. And uh, talk to you all later.